The recent SpaceX Starship test flight at the Starbase facility in Boca Chica not only marked a historic milestone for the company, but also led to a series of consequences. The test flight resulted in significant damage to the launch pad, and the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, has now grounded SpaceX's Starship prototypes as it completes a mishap investigation into the dramatic event. On April 20th, SpaceX attempted the first orbital launch of the Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy booster. The prototype launcher was lost less than four minutes after liftoff, creating a massive crater beneath the launch stand and propelling a cloud of debris into the sky above SpaceX's Texas spaceport. The liftoff force was so powerful that residents in Port Isabel, Texas, located about six miles away from SpaceX's Starbase, felt the ground rumble as if experiencing an earthquake. You might be asking, why didn't SpaceX plan for the massive rocket's exhaust? SpaceX did not plan for the exhaust from their massive rockets because they did not build a flame diversion system or use water to absorb heat and sound energy during launch. Most rocket launch sites have concrete trenches that redirect energy away from the pad and the vehicle, while large amounts of water are used to deluge the area. This lack of preparation resulted in debris being thrown up and the launch pad being severely damaged during launches. In contrast, a picture of the space shuttle in 2009 shows it sitting above its flame trench, which helps to redirect energy and reduce damage during launch. It's not clear why SpaceX didn't use this kind of infrastructure, which is part of the launch setup for its Falcon rockets. The aftermath of the explosion has led to a series of challenges for SpaceX, with the FAA launching its investigation into the incident. The debris from the explosion spread across a larger area than anticipated, causing damages to properties in Port Isabel, which is approximately six miles from the launch site. The FAA investigation's primary goals are to identify issues with the launch vehicle, assess the impact on the environment, and ensure the safety of the nearby population for future launches. Historically, SpaceX and the FAA have encountered numerous challenges and setbacks in their partnership. The FAA has often imposed stringent regulations and safety measures for SpaceX to adhere to, which have sometimes caused delays in launches and further developments. Before the Starship launch, the FAA had granted SpaceX a preliminary approval, but required the company to complete 75 steps to protect the environment. These additional measures prolonged the process of obtaining the final license, reflecting the FAA's commitment to mitigating any potential environmental impact. Another instance that illustrates the complicated relationship between SpaceX and the FAA occurred in August 2022. SpaceX violated an FAA safety rule designed to prevent collisions in low Earth orbit, leading to a proposed fine of $175,000. While the length of the current FAA investigation remains uncertain, it can potentially last several months, during which SpaceX's Starship program will be on hold. Despite these regulatory challenges, SpaceX has continued to achieve remarkable milestones, such as the acquisition of a second rocket launch complex at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. This new launch site, previously used by the Boeing Lockheed Joint Venture United Launch Alliance, offers SpaceX more room to handle its increasingly busy launch schedule for commercial, government, and internal satellite launches. The acquisition also puts SpaceX in a strong position for the upcoming Pentagon's Phase 3 National Security Space Launch Program competition. The new launch complex at Vandenberg Space Force Base demonstrates SpaceX's dominance in the space industry and their commitment to providing reliable launch services. Furthermore, this new launch site will allow for launches in a southern trajectory over the Pacific Ocean, which is often used for weather monitoring, military, or spy satellites that commonly rely on polar Earth orbits. In the meantime, the Mechazilla chopstick system and ship quick disconnect arm, initially thought to be damaged, have been tested and found to be still operable. This is great news for the Starship program, as its success hinges on achieving a rapid orbital launch rotation with reusable rockets. As SpaceX moves forward, the company is working on repairing the damaged launch pad and incorporating the lessons learned from the explosion into future Starship designs. SpaceX founder Musk revealed on Twitter that the company is working on a massive water-cooled steel plate to be placed under the launch mount. While it was not ready in time for the recent test flight, it is expected to be a significant upgrade.
SpaceX's determination is also reflected in its upcoming launch schedule. The company has several launches lined up, including a Starlink satellite launch from Vandenberg Spaceport, Falcon Heavy launch, and four communication satellites launch from Cape Canaveral Space Force Base on April 28th. The effects of the Starship explosion and the ongoing FAA investigation are not limited to the Starship program itself. NASA has recently expressed concern that the delayed Falcon Heavy launch of commercial satellites could affect the schedule of flights to the International Space Station, or ISS. This includes a private astronaut mission slated for early May. As a result, SpaceX, NASA, and Axiom Space are in discussions to determine the best launch date for the mission. The question in everyone's mind is, when will Starship launch again? According to Musk, the launch site could be ready in one to two months, but this estimate may be optimistic. The company needs to conduct a thorough engineering analysis to determine what went wrong with the rocket and repair its launch infrastructure. Additionally, it must regain the approval of the FAA before resuming the launch. If successful, the Starship's reusable design would dramatically reduce the costs associated with space travel, making it more accessible to a broader range of people and organizations. This affordability could potentially open doors for more ambitious projects, including space tourism and colonization efforts. Moreover, the Starship's successful launch would solidify SpaceX's position as a leader in the commercial space industry. This would encourage further private investments in space exploration and promote healthy competition among other companies in the sector. The race to develop better, more efficient, and cost-effective space technologies would ultimately benefit humanity as a whole. If you found this information informative and engaging, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on the latest developments in space exploration. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Thank you for watching.